How you doing folks? This is Master Maverick here and I would like to welcome you to another Mavericks unboxing and review. So today uh, we're doing something a little bit different because uh, there's uh, something I want to talk to you about today and you know it's something I, I've always uh, been a little bit concerned about and um, that's water, right? You know Water uh, is very important to us, obviously, and uh, our bodies are mostly made up of it. We cannot survive without it, okay? Now, uh, today, what we're going to do is, is uh, we're going to try to, first of all, uh, answer the age, this question of, is water, water? Okay, so, to figure this out, uh, I've gone ahead and uh, gotten about 17 different brands of water including my own tap water so I have uh, filtered and double filtered water so we're gonna be uh, just checking out these waters and um, in order to uh, to determine which is the right water for you uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, pH perfect pH level uh, testing kit. Now, uh, if you look in the back here, it explains the, uh, you know, the uh, water, you know, which is more acidic, which is natural and, or neutral, and which has more uh, alkaline, which supposedly alkaline is supposed to be very good for you. And uh, of course, acid is very bad for you. So we're going to be finding out um, which waters are actually the real deal. Okay, folks, so we're going to be looking at the Voss water now. Now, um, I don't know about you, but I've always found uh, Voss to be a little bit on the pricey side. And uh, it's always made me wonder, is it really that good or is it just a fancy bottle and uh, just some really clever marketing? Because uh, some folks seem to swear by it. We're going to go ahead and put in one two three drops Okay, so one thing we can conclude, folks, is that not all waters are created equal. So you can go ahead and forward this video to that friend or that someone you know that thinks otherwise. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start by talking about the Voss water. Looking at the, uh, the chart here, I would say that water is probably around maybe a, a five. Or six, maybe, like the Propel, which, as you can see, is pretty blue in color. It means it's got more alkaline. So I would probably rank that up there about an eight. And the uh, Smart Water, about a seven. Eight for the Fiji, about a five or six for the uh, Poland Spring which I'm pretty surprised because I thought that was the uh, Poland Spring from Maine and what it means to be from Maine and it was supposed to be really good. Anyway, uh, so uh, the Deer Park scored about an 8. Aquafina looking pretty acidic there. I'd say that about a 4. Well, no, that's probably about a 4 or 5. The Sani, easily, easily about a 4. Zephyr Hills, about an eight. Nestle, I'm going to give that, I'd say, between a seven and an eight. Sam's Choice, which is the Walmart brand. It's actually pretty uh, pretty decent. 
I'll give that a 7. So that's definitely neutral. Niagara. Niagara. Can't get that right. Anyway, it's looking pretty acidic there. Right around a 3. Ozarka. I give it about an 8. Not too bad. The Publix brand water. I'd say about uh, about a six. Yeah, about a six or seven. Crystal, the Save a Lot brand, looking pretty acidic there. Wesley Farms, which is the BJ's brand, again looking pretty acidic. Silver Springs, which is made in uh, Alcala, Florida. Looking pretty blue there. Give that about an 8. And the Arcada. Looking pretty green. I'd probably give that about a 7. Okay, so those are probably some of your more bargain brand waters. Amazingly enough, some of these uh, waters, you you know, you would think it'd be better. And they cost more, but that didn't mean anything. This is my tap water, okay? One is double filtered, one is just filtered, okay? They're probably both about the same. So, I didn't expect much to change, but I thought I'd check them both. Okay, so uh, there you have it. That's, uh, but, you know, your results may be different. So, I went ahead and uh, rearranged the waters here so that you could see which ones had more alkaline versus the ones that are more acidic. So for your education, for informational purposes, you'll be able to make an informed decision on w when deciding which water is right for you and your family. So hopefully uh, this helped you out. I would like to thank you once again for watching. This is Maverick over now.